More than 8% of the U.S. population, almost 24 million people in this country are diabetic. The number is expected to reach 35 million by the year 2030. And at this time, unfortunately, almost 40% of the cases remain undiagnosed. The conventional practice has so far used fasting plasma glucose and oral glucose tests to diagnose diabetes, but patients and their doctors do not find these tests very user-friendly. The test actually requires overnight fasting, and many patients either do not like fasting or they just forget to fast before the test. The American Diabetes Association, ADA, along with the European Association for Study of Diabetes and the International Diabetes Federation, they are all uh, strongly considering recommendation of using the hemoglobin A1C test as a preferred test for diagnosing diabetes. And testing of HbA1c does not require patients to fast, and so it is much more convenient for people to take that test. And testing of HbA1c is now even more easy and simple through dried blood spot testing, the finger spot testing uh, introduced by ZRT Lab. And the patients can perform this test in the convenience of their own home uh, without going to a phlebotomist to get their blood drawn. The HbA1c test measures, in effect, the average blood glucose content over the last three months. Uh, this is because it measures the amount of glucose bound to the hemoglobin in red blood cells, which have a lifetime of three months in the body. And new cells are formed and old cells die every day. Uh, therefore, at any point in time, the amount of HbA1c represents an average of the amount of glucose that bound to the hemoglobin of red cells over this time. And the experts at the ADA have recommended that an HbA1c of 6.5% can be used to diagnose diabetes, uh, while further follow-up and more testing should be done in people who have an HbA1c of 6% or more. People with such risk factors as obesity, high blood pressure, hypertension, or a family history of diabetes should have their HbA1c levels tested at, at least twice a year. Uh, using HbA1c tests as a screening tool will help detect diabetes in more people, especially uh, those who are at risk and who would otherwise be left undiagnosed. And this will help physicians and their patients intervene early and help them formulate optimal treatment strategies.